If you get the itch for golf at an early age, it's nearly impossible to shake. The girls of the Farragut Middle School team have dreams of tee times at Augusta and elsewhere as collegiate athletes and LPGA stars. But for now, they're content to learn the game the right way and win a bunch while they're at it. It's like a lot of fun. Golf's always fun when you're winning. But anyone who's ever swung a club knows success on the course can be fleeting. You hit one good shot and you think you're great and then everything goes down from there. <laughs> but things haven't rolled down the slope for Farragut. Quite the opposite, actually. In the last two years, they've lost one. Get it harder. With just one loss in nearly two full yeah. seasons, oh. the middle school admirals have found triumph through repetition. A lot of working at it, a lot of practice, uh, parent support, uh, good facilities, you know, and the kids, oh, I've got a good group of girls that work hard at it. Even in my front yard, I just like set down a foam ball and just go at it. Practice, which you don't practice though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I do practice. You have to have like a goal, I guess. Practice. Well, I mean, if you just go out and practice and you don't really have a goal, That's it's, true. it's not really meaningful. I feel like when I practice, I'm like, there's people better than me and I want to beat them. And that's kind of like my goal to like beat them. We're and then, very competitive. Very. Almost too competitive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Though some of their teammates are still learning the ins and outs of competition. I like playing with my family and friends. A little competition sometimes. Are you competitive? A little. A little competitive? Yes. What's a little competitive mean? Uh, 25% competitive. Well, actually, I would rather see a little shorter back and a little longer through. Under the watchful eye of head coach Dave Codling, the seven middle schoolers have learned golf and patience go hand in hand. He always is telling us to keep our heads up and like think of the half, the glass being half full instead of half empty. Uh, you know, if we win, that's great. But as long as I move forward and, and improving, that, that's what I'm looking for. To not like get mad at myself, I was like, well, I tried and there's always the next hole. I think it teaches me that I just need to sometimes leave stuff in the past and worry about the future. And if they can teach their parents a thing or two, all the better. My dad is not very good at coaching me, so he <laughs> he tells me stuff and then I realize that it's totally wrong. And then, and then he improves by me telling him. So they've got a head start on becoming golf instructors. More than a few strokes up on big dreams too. I want to get a scholarship to play golf and like at a college so I can be like maybe professional when I grow up. I kind of like want to get a scholarship and like maybe go into like amateur like LPGA. When they get that big smile from you know hitting a good shot, that's what it's all about. Uh, you got a four. Got a that four. was a great chip. District tournaments for Farragut and all our area middle school golf teams just over a month away. More from Tea Time Augusta after the break.